Hi guys, <coughs> I'm Michael and today I'm going to show you my uh, Sony 5100 camera. So um, let's go right into this. So this is a camera that comes with a kit lens like this. It's 16 to 50, aperture 3.5 to 5.6, but um, you have to remember the crop factor. So if it's 60, it's as if it would be on a full frame camera. Actually, you have to multiply it by 1.7 to get the real focal length. Um, let's go to the sensor. It's an APS-C sensor, as you can see here. It's quite a large sensor used in most uh, DSLR cameras. Um, it's actually bigger than what you have in, uh, in Panasonic or in uh, Olympus, where you have a uh, micro four thirds. Um, it's also not a full frame sensor, but um, it's quite big. It's actually the same sensor as in Sony A6000. So um, regarding image quality, the cameras are basically the same. Differences are this one doesn't have a viewfinder. Uh, viewfinder might, might help you if you're one of those uh, old photographers used to using a viewfinder. If you um, learned actually to make pictures on your smartphone, shouldn't be a problem for you because um you basically have a screen here and yeah one of the advantages of the mirrorless cameras over DSLRs is that you have a view of a picture here so you can see the picture how it will look like before you take it which is impossible in a, oh my god which is impossible in DSLRs okay so let's get right into it um, first we input a memory card which goes here it's quite easy to take it in and out and we turn it on after uh, just a few seconds it's it's on just take the lid off and as you can see you have a picture of what you're going to see here um, you don't have a knob for modes, so all the modes are set up here. You just press the center button. You have a shutter mode, aperture modes, uh, auto, some of the uh, automatic modes, but basically don't use those. Use only those three, those three, manual, shutter and aperture. You have a flash here. So this is a uh, no good actually. Well, it's good if you want to really capture some moments you don't want to lose in the darkness, but um, for the quality of photos, it's actually basically useless. What else? You have a touch screen, which is uh, something you don't have in other Sony cameras. So if you want to focus on something, you can basically just... Uh, right now it's set to uh, focus on center, but if I touch the screen, I can actually switch to the point focus mode. And close it here and this is the only way you can use the touch screen actually so if you go to your menu you cannot do anything it doesn't work it only works in focus mode what else um, it actually takes really great photos uh, with ISO up to um, 400 it's really great you can just uh, post it on the internet you can uh, I don't know what you do with your photos, but you can probably also sell them to stock, stock sites and stuff like that. So um, if the weather is great, if you don't have any low light situations, if you're not indoors, this camera is basically all you will need to, to make really, really great photos. Um, the kit lens is actually quite nice because you have a, quite a zoom range here, so um, if you see can basically zoom quite a lot to see, to see those things. So with this kit lens you can basically go to town and make pictures of whatever you want as long as the, the light is good. Um, if it's not good and if you really want beautiful pictures you are, well you probably should go with a different camera. But it's a basic camera for the uh, for your first semi-professional camera is just great it will make great pictures um, in a good light situations it will perform just as good as any DSLR with a APS-C sensor 
and the price is just ridiculous I believe it costs somewhere around 300 euros with this kit lens and this is simply ridiculous for a for a similar camera from Olympus or Panasonic you would have to you'd have to pay much more so um yes um, what is what are the differences between this one and uh, Sony Alpha 5000 basically it's just one this one has a touch screen and the other one doesn't so touch screen is quite useful if you if you do a lot of uh, focusing on certain points not from for example if you if you don't use it you can focus and recompose but if you do then this is just great um, other Sony cameras don't have that even the big ones even the Sony Alpha A7s do not have it so Yes, enjoy.